What's up everyone, it's Dr. Spencer Nadolski here again with another episode of Ask Dr. Spencer. Today I got an email from Karen who says, Dr. Nadolski, I'm really scared. My doctor says he's going to put me on a blood pressure medicine if I can't lower my blood pressure naturally. What can I do? Alright Karen, I think I can help you because I've helped a lot of the same type of patients in my own clinic. So a lot of times doctors will tell you to cut your salt out, lower your sodium uh, in order to lower your blood pressure naturally. So I, I don't think that works that well in my own practice. Patients don't like to eat a diet low in sodium. Um, I know it does work, but this is what I actually do and it seems to work in my own clinical practice. So number one, lose weight. I know it's easier said than done, but all you need to lose is about 5 to 10 percent of your current body weight to have a big time effect. So if you're 200 pounds, all that means is losing 10 to 20 pounds. That's not so bad, especially if you do it over a few months to a year. So number two, the diet changes. I don't do the salt thing, but I tell patients to increase their fruits and vegetables. This will increase their potassium intake, which is just as good as lowering their sodium intake. All right, next. I tell my patients to replace one of their current meals with a protein drink. And not just any protein drink, a protein drink that contains either whey or casein or milk protein uh, isolate or both. So it's interesting. So not only will you increase your protein and lower your calories by replacing one of your meals, and effectively helping you to lose weight, but those milk proteins actually have special properties in them that are similar to blood pressure medicines. It's very interesting. They work very well. Next thing, exercise. Uh, honestly, there are so many different types of exercise out there. My, my motto is, whatever you like, just do that. You know, the, the, you can lift weights, that helps. You can run, you can do other type of aerobic exercise. Honestly, anything. You could walk. Literally just do something every day. The next thing is magnesium supplementation. This is, on, this is not as good as the other things I'm telling you, but it's pretty good. 300 to 500 milligrams of supplemental magnesium a day will help you lower your blood pressure just a sm smidgen. It will also help you relax, which is also good for lowering your blood pressure. All right, I hope these things have helped you, Karen. These are the things I do in my clinic, and they seem to work pretty well. So I'm Dr. Spencer Nadolski. Get lean, get healthy.